military wife. Time now for my next guest. With a career spanning over 40 years, he's a legend in the world of music. Artists such as Madonna and George Michael have covered his songs. And just last week, he was honoured by BBC Radio 2 with a Lifetime Achievement Award for classic songs such as these. Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and grey Look out on a summer's day with eyes that know the darkness in my soul I started singing bye bye Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee but the levee was dry Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye And singing this'll be the day that I die This'll be the day that I die Please welcome Don McLean. <laughs> You know, Don, I sometimes think to have written one song that stays with the world when you've gone is one thing, but to have written as many as you have, it's, um, do you rather like that, that you hear people humming things when you, when you go around? You know, well, American Pie is such a classic. Uh, you know, back in the day when we were writing songs, uh, the songs had melodies. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so yeah I remember that's, tunes. Uh, I remember tunes. That, that's why you have the Beatles songs uh, as famous as they are. Mm. And, all these other songs because they stayed in your head. They, you know, the catchy song, is, it catches you and it, it doesn't let you go. It also seemed in that period when you were songwriting that you were writing songs, when I say with a mission, I don't mean that the mission, <laughs> you know, stopped them being enjoyable songs, but now there's no sort of underlying kind of thrust to a song, is there? You know, these were all the sorts of things that were going on, like the Vietnam War, mm -hmm. like people living in little boxes, you know, Pete mm -hmm. Seeger. Lots of songs had a message mm -hmm. to them in those days. Well, things have gotten very corporate. Yeah. Uh, people used to, uh, music and everything was coming from the, the ground up, whereas before it had come from the top down, and that was a big new thing, you know, the Rolling Stones and stuff like that. We were making our own music, you know, uh, in the old days, in the 50s, let's say with Frank Sinatra, he would, he, he, he knew how to sing a song better than anyone. So they'd give him a great song by Irving Berlin, so they got the song covered. Then they go in the studio and they make the record with the best musicians, Axel Stordahl or Nelson Riddle. Record company had the right engineers. Fabulous. See? Yeah, yeah. But the singer-songwriter thing with the thing that the Beatles started, you had to sing your own song, write your own song, produce the own, your own song in the record, argue with the producer if you didn't <laughs> like it, yeah. and you, nobody knew what they were doing. They were making it up, you know, by the seat of their pants. Yeah. There are lot of people always talk about American Pie and say, Don is very mysterious about the lyric. He'll never explain it, he wants to... I think there's a lot of sense in that, because it can then be what anybody wants it to be. Was that your message Well, there's, a, there's a level of it that's fun, and yeah. then there's a level of it that's just like a dream, and if you sort of dumb it down and talk about, you know, this kind of thing... You know, every time I see Carly Simon, they ask her, you know, who's a, you're so vain, you know, she, that's why she doesn't do interviews. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but oh, she did. you know, she that's did the kind of thing, ago, you know. I spoke to a couple of years ago. But, uh, so that's why I don't talk Keep about it. Keep it. Don't blame me at all. <laughs> With the coincidences that happen in life, we've mm -hmm. just been talking about Elizabeth Taylor uh -huh. selling a Van Gogh. Yeah. I mean, Vincent has mm -hmm. been such an enormous hit for you, Starry, Starry Night. number one over here, along with uh, Crying and, uh, and American Pie was number two. Yeah. Well, do you play a little bit. Starry, Starry Night Paint your palette blue and grey Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hills Sketch the trees and the daffodils Catch the breeze and the winter chills In colors on the snowy linen land Now I understand What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity 
Why you tried to set them free They would not listen They did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now <laughs> you know, one of the reasons why I like doing this show is that I sit here and I get, you know, you come and do this. It's one to, to enjoy it in person. It makes it very special when you're actually... You're doing a tour? Are you coming yeah, later in, on in, in the, the fall? I'm, yeah. I don't know. I've done so many, but the last few have been wonderfully successful. I got to play at uh, Glastonbury uh, this summer. Was it this summer or last summer? Uh, and uh, another wonderful tour is coming yeah. up. And uh, some of the stuff that you showed here were uh, links to a little uh, television uh, documentary that's been done about my life and career called American Troubadour, which uh, those were pictures of me as a kid with my parents in the backyard and everything. Yeah. It's all yeah. part of this thing which is going to be on uh, and which will be over here probably in a 90 minute version as well as a CD and all the rest Does of it. Does it give you a thrill that people like Fred Astaire and Elvis Presley have sung your songs? I mean, oh, I mean, you know, my life has been a dream basically because I never really was cut out to be a big star. I, I was sort of a guy who liked uh, the idea of inventing these songs and singing with my guitar and, and it grew kind of from there you know I ended up in the studio with the Jordanaires and Elvis Presley's background group and the next minute I had a number one with crying yeah uh, so I had these dream things would happen to me I found myself at Johnny Cash's house after I lost four Grammys uh, you know so that was actually better than winning a Grammy. There was being a Johnny Cash is hard. It's not about love. Roy Orbison was there and everything. Oh gosh, you know. the name drops. Come back any time you want. It's a delight <laughs> okay. to have you. Look forward to the talk. Thanks Congratulations so on the Radio Two Folk Award, ladies and gentlemen, Don McLean. Thank you, Don. Very good. What a treat.